Hello Society, my name is Mike Venezia. No, not to be confused with the children's book author slash illustrator, horse jockey, paintball player, photographer who likes photographing mostly naked women. No, I'm completely different. I'm just your normal average guy. Who I really am, I mean, um, I'm a veteran. Well, a soon to be veteran, I'm still active in the Air Force right now. I'm a dad, which is kind of first and foremost of everything else. Um, I'm a priest of Earth-based religion. Um, so that makes me a little bit different than I guess an old average guy. Um, of course, because of that, I'm a teacher, um, and I'm a computer guy, um, computer geek. Basically, I like a few things that have to do with computers. I have other hobbies, though. Obviously, one of them is filming videos like I already do. I have two other channels on YouTube. Like I said, I'm new to the, the vlogging thing, but I have an internet presence, so why not? I have three channels on YouTube. Um, I have American Pancake and Sausage Productions, which is um, American Pancake Pro here on YouTube. That's where I do all my little fun things um, with camera, green screen, all that good stuff. I also have Pagan Information, which is the show Proud to be Pagan, which, like I said, I'm Earth-based faith. So basically just to show that we're just like every other religion out there. We have a faith. We follow it, just like other people do. We have our fundamentalists, just like every other religion. But we get a bad rap, kind of like right now, um, the Islamic people are getting a bad rap because of uh, September 11th, which, by the way, we did, um, I don't know if you'd call it celebrate. I guess remember um, the day. It's the ninth anniversary, so. Maybe next year when we hit 10 years, it's a, it'd be a big milestone, a big remembrance thing. One of the news channels, and I don't really care for the news so much, so I don't really watch it. Apparently they did an all-day thing where they're just redoing all of the video from 9-11. Like, trying to relive it, like, from the minutes it started, and just keep playing the video and the um, coverage they covered all day long, and just, like, repeat it. I don't know, I just feel that's kind of weird, especially for a 9-year anniversary, maybe a 10-year or 50-year, a remembrance thing, maybe. But anyway, other than filming videos, I have other hobbies. I like doing like crafty things like sculpting and, and painting and um, drawing and things like that. I also have a love for video games. Mostly online stuff and stuff I don't have to pay for. So, sorry Microsoft, but uh, stick to your cool operating systems and computers and stuff. But just, I don't like paying for playing online. Sorry. Basically, I will talk about things like what's important to, to me on the day I vlog which is what every other vlogger does. Which on that note, I'd like to thank two people on YouTube who are kind of high up on the rungs of YouTube people. First of all, Philip DeFranco, thank you. You are an inspiration for me to get into the vlogging because obviously I have other things going on on the internet and to vlog and let people know who the guy is behind all this and what I'm really about, great. You're kind of an inspiration for me to get away from the blog kind of stuff, just like picking up a video camera going, hey, this is what I do, to you know sitting down and kind of getting more like here internet, this is me. Which I like. Also, the second person that I want to thank is um, Shane Dawson, because I've always loved filming things, but the moment I start watching his videos, and if you're watching your video, Shane, um, and it inspired me to pick up my camera and, and go out with friends and just have a good time and, and film and do something I actually like to do, but incorporate all of, you know, society with me. You know, just go, hey, buddies and friends, come over here and we're going to have a fun video, yay! And you know that's it's really important to um, to unwind for me, especially being a military guy. I can go out with my friends, whether they're my military friends or my civilian friends or whatever, and you know shoot a video and have some fun. It's been great. So thanks to both of you for the inspiration. Uh, we all need inspiration in our lives. We're human beings. So. Although unlike uh, my inspirations, I'm probably not going to go into vlog to uh, skit kind of like um, Shane Dawson does, and I probably won't get into much of the news and political things that um, Philip DeFranco does because, well, I really don't care for the news, like I said, so it's going to be what's important to me and me as a, and as a person, as a presence here on the interwebs. And I'm not going to, uh, and everyone says, hello internet, or uh, hello YouTube, I think I'm just going to say hello society because I'm, I want to broaden everything out, so here I am. Anyway, society, what's important to me is, I like I said, I don't watch the news, but I did notice some things on, um, on the internet today that kind of bothered me. One group in particular. It's not that they, I don't like them or I do like them. It's I don't understand them, and that is PETA. PETA with an E, not PETA like the pocketed bread that I love so much. Put cheese and meat and stuff, and it's so good. I love that stuff. PETA um, has kind of gotten a little. I don't know. Maybe it's a little out of hand to me, but I don't know. I guess I try to understand people like that. But the main focus is again, like the main focus is in anything on the internet is Lady Gaga. She wore a meat dress 
to some awards show. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess it was the VMAs or something. I, I don't even know what it was. She wore a meat dress kind of as, as a, um, a statement that, from what I read, says, I am not a piece of meat for you to, you know, chew on or something. Right after she did that award show, she went to the Ellen DeGeneres show where Ellen gave her this um, dress made out of vegetables. Ellen being uh, either a vegetarian or vegan, I don't even know, but either way, more people I don't understand. I have, I have a friend that needs meat to survive. I mean, he, if he does not have animal protein, you know, bacon and, and steak and hamburgers, all the stuff we love as Americans, um, he could actually go into seizures and die. I mean, not like, you know, uh, I don't feel good because I didn't eat any meat today. I'm like, <clears throat> and die. Like, dead, done. Back on the point is that PETA decided that, hey, wearing this meat, is it's decaying flesh of animals. And not only is it de decaying flesh of animals, but it's decaying flesh of animals who did not want to die. And I, I have to ask people, how do you know if people, you know, were you know, made for breeding for food or something, uh, wouldn't, maybe there'd be a religion about it. I don't even know. We don't know what the animals want. And I get their point that, hey, we don't know what they want, so let's just not assume that it's what they want. It makes sense. However, I still don't get them as a whole and the fanaticism of it. Needless to say, this meat dress was made by a clothing designer, meaning there's an actual person who makes clothing decided to make a piece of clothing out of raw meat. So it was a legitimate designer who said, hey, you're kind of crazy and eclectic. Will you wear my meat dress? And she said, yeah, I'll meet, wear a meat dress. It makes sense to me. And But everyone else was like, I don't get it. I don't care who gets and who doesn't let people do the thing. Either way, PETA made a big fuss about like, make a big fuss of everything that has with animals. I just don't get it. I don't hate them. I don't love them. I just don't get them. You try and do the research and get the other side of the story and, and maybe, maybe, maybe meet a common ground but still hold your own um, point of view. That's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, I, I don't, like I said, I don't watch the news, I don't watch a lot of TV, so um, what's important to me is probably very little, so you see little things about me and if you ever want to get to know me or whatever. Anyway, down in whatever, if it's the side now or the bottom, I don't remember, I'll have links for uh, Philip DeFranco, I'll have the, uh, the links for um, Shane Dawson for my other YouTube pages, so if you want to check that out or if you've already seen some of those and you're coming here to see who I am, great. I appreciate it, and until next time, society, and I'll keep saying that because I'm not going to say internet, not going to say YouTube, I'm going to be a little different. Alright, society, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.